Welcome in Western Slope. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump right into the forecast. As we take a look at those weather headlines, we're still looking at temperatures in those upper 90s and those triple digits as we wrap up the work week and get into the weekend. But there is a chance for the, well, it's going to happen. Those temperatures are going to drop down closer to those seasonal averages come the late weekend and the early work week. But before that happens, those possible record breaking temperatures still have a chance for us even into Saturday and possibly Sunday. But Sunday and into that early work week, those showers are going to be on the way. Some areas could receive maybe a quarter of an inch to up to half of an inch of rainfall, especially in those higher elevation regions. Now, let's take a look ahead because that same high pressure circle of that warm air is still focused over that panhandle area and the New Mexico area. But as we get closer to that end of the work week, we'll notice it's going to shift a little bit and even into Saturday shift even more for us. But we'll notice there's a little bit of that that drop off the West Coast, which is a low pressure that's going to move on in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday to get us again back down to those seasonal averages and give us that chance for precipitation. But we'll notice that drought monitor is still up with those dry grasses and those dry airs. So I know I keep chatting about it, but wildfire safety, don't leave those campfires unattended. Adhere to those burn bans and those warnings discard of uh, extinguished cigarettes properly, keep vehicles off that dry vegetation and avoid power tools that can cause sparks on that same dry vegetation. And of course, <clears throat> obey those orders from local law officials. We'll take a look at that almanac that high has actually dropped down into 102 from 1969 and we're looking at just about five to six degrees above that seasonal average. Mind you, we have dropped just one degree in that seasonal average. We were hanging out at 95 instead of 94 for quite a while, but the end of July looks like dropped us down into that 94 degree range. That low end hanging out just a couple degrees above that average. Now that's going to shift. Like I said, come Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, we're going to get right around near those seasonal averages, even during the nighttime hours. Now Friday's afternoon highs are going to be 100 102 in Grand Junction, 95 in Montrose, 107 in Moab and those regions along the I-70 corridor do look to still be above that seasonal average in those 90s. Aspen and Gunnison even hanging out in those upper 80s. That heat potential for Friday still is kind of pushing on up with the greatest chance for temperatures being well above normal moving across that Midwest area of above 10, even 20 degrees. But that biggest departure of those warm airs for us here on the Western Slope has moved on out. And like I said, that late weekend, early work week is looking nice. Our pollen forecast hasn't really shifted. We're still looking at moderate grasses and moderate weeds with some low trees and low mold in terms of those irritations hanging on out. And as we take a look at that dog walking forecast, I have Sombra hanging out with me and we'll notice those peak temperatures actually aren't going to happen until those late, late afternoon hours, even early evening. So please feel free to send me a photo of your dog at jsage at kerryxtv.com. Now that extended forecast is going to show us Zero chance for rain as we look into Friday and Saturday, but that early work week is looking to be in those low to mid 90s with that chance for rain 40 to 50 percent. In Montrose, just about five degrees cooler, but come Tuesday, Wednesday, we are going to get back down into those 80s. But the late work week, more dry air is moving on in to give us an increase in temperatures and an increase in that sunshine.